Greetings folks, I have another 3D printed kit from Krakel in Turkey to show you. This is the FPV Orca V2, a little flying wing. The deal with Krakel is that uh, they produce 3D printed kits and they can sell you the STL files so you can print them yourself or you can buy a, a pre-printed kit like this one. This one has a power pack in it as well so it's the plug and fly version. Uh, I don't know if they actually sell a plug and fly version, but anyway, that's the one, that's what I've got here. So. so let's see what comes in the box. So you can see it comes all sort of individually packed up in plastic bags. There's the wing sections there. Little hatch covers, different hatch covers for different uh, FPV options. Fins, uh, the main body there. And we've got, uh, we've got a, a nice little uh, paper build backing or a, a build surface. Hinges, spinner, battery mount, uh, motor mount, all those sorts of little goodies. We've got a spar in there. Carbon fibre spar. Power pack there in the power pack. What do we have? Blue Tower Pro 9 gram servos. Uh, 6x4 prop, 30 amp ESC, battery strap, and a 20, an RS2205 2300kV motor, so that'll be a nice little screamer. Uh, and so I'm going to set up my build table, get out the CA glue, and start assembling. Now we'll go through some of the assembly photos uh, so there's the fuselage it's all medium ca glue with uh, activator sprayed on one side and ca on the other side then they just uh, fit together nicely four pieces to the fuselage plus the little uh, nose grill there little finlets just glue into their slots nicely and in the wing root here this is where the servo fits the servos go in very nicely i like the little servo mounts and there's a, a little diagram embedded in the 3d print that shows you which way around to put the servos in because you need to do this before you continue on with the wing and little tabs for alignment there's a battery strap holder in the fuselage and these greeny things are optional downloaded files you can print yourself their servo protectors but i thought they might help with a little bit of lateral stability as well but you can see how the servos uh, screw in there very nicely spar going right through and the wings have little pegs that align where they are meant to go as well as the spar going through and the little wing tips you get a couple of hatch covers uh, with different mounting options for hd fpv and uh, analog fpv and things like that i'm just going to put a uh, run cam thumb on the top of one of them. Generous battery bay. There's a 4S uh, 18650. Uh, this particular one will run on 3S, I found out, so I didn't need to have that much weight in the nose there. But you can run it on a variety of, uh, of uh, batteries because of the amount of space. You can move it backwards and forwards. Nice little props around and spinner there. Power pack comes with uh, 2205, 2300 kv motor and a 6x4 prop so that will, will run perfectly well on 3s there's the underneath showing the servo protector fins and the printed control horns uh, my all up weight with that 4s 18650 was uh, 567 grams which is reasonably heavy for a little wing uh, now i initially had the push rods in that hole there which is what four in uh, and I, I moved it to the outer holes because I found I didn't have enough throws to start off with so it's now time to go out for a fly and uh, well I had a bit of fun I wasn't that successful getting it to launch there is a particular technique to launching uh, which is on the website and there's a really good build video on the website as well uh, so check those out before you uh, put it together and before you um, launch it and now what was I was doing was grabbing the wing here and giving it a hurl with high revs and that just most of the time put it into a torque roll. Uh, and these things can't really survive a lot of crashes before you have to start reprinting and uh, re-gluing. Uh, what Jamal says is to grab the nose and uh, not use too high a revs and just launch it normally and it will fly 
fly uh, fine. Um, I had one reasonable flight, but then, uh, as you'll see, uh, struggled after that. So uh, what I'm going to do is try and patch it up and use Jamal's advice and uh, see if I can get, him, get it flying for a bit longer. But anyway, uh, really nice little kit. 3D printing probably suits these smaller style uh, wings than the big builds, but uh, things advance and things change, so we'll see what happens in the future. Anyway, enjoy my crashes, and uh, we'll see you again in the next video, and hopefully I'll be able to get it flying uh, soon. All right, here we go. Let's try a quick flight. <laughs> Nope, something's wrong. Uh, I suspect something's wrong with my AS ESC. It's uh, doing very odd things. Uh, even with the throttle cut on, it will start the motor up and, and run at a low level. Uh, then the motor just cut out when I tried to launch. So uh, I'm gonna swap out the ESC, maybe even the receiver, and we'll try again. Okay, time to get this little orca in the air. Uh, second attempt, first attempt, uh, the ESC died on me, so I've switched out the ESC and the receiver, just in case it was actually the receiver that was the problem. Um, to glue the hatch back together. Glue the fin back on. Uh, but it's all good. <laughs> okay. Where's the wind? Over there. Didn't want to stay up. <clears throat> Bit more grunt, maybe. Hope nothing broke off. Bit more reflex, maybe. There we go. Put a bit of reflex in. Uh, it's not too bad. I can glue that back together. Hatch, broken the hatch again. And what was going on there? Was that just a torque roll? Okay, fourth time lucky. Made a few changes. I've got a 3S 18650 in here now, uh, which makes it a bit lighter than I had with the 4S. I now have more throws. Less weight. I've taped up the nose because that crunched in the uh, three other launch attempts. Yeah, hey, hey. Oh, it's flying. Having to hold full back elevator there. But we are flying. Uh, so we're a bit nose heavy. Uh, let's uh, bring it in and make an adjustment, but uh, that is flying nicely, finally. Ouch, that lands hard. Break my, break my wing tip. All right, I'll tape that. Move the CG back a little bit. Let's see, here we go. Okay, CG has moved back a bit. Tiny little bit more reflex. That was radical. Didn't break anything though. What happened there? CG too far back? Gosh, little makes a big difference. Is happening. All right, final time. Then I'll uh, I'll have to um, admit defeat. All right, I admit defeat. I cannot fly this little plane. So I really don't understand what's going on there. Uh, the CG is back in front of the marks, even. Maybe that little bit of wing damage there is making it spin. Let's 
controls are going the right way. Shall we try one more? No idea what's going on. Just torque roll that I can't overcome, I think.